Okay, so this is a piece of 50 by 50 mild steel. Um, it's uh, 100 mil long, so that's two inch by two inch by four inches long. And this is a piece of forklift truck time, which we forged down to 50 by 50. Uh, it's about 130 mil long, if you don't include these bits on the side. Uh, this is going to be the top of the anvil, and this is going to be the body of the anvil that's going to end up going in to the hardy hull. Yep. Yep. I know where that was. Yep. 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 Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah.
Yep. 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 Okay, my plan was uh, to copy something that I saw. Um, I think it was Pat Quinn who I saw did, did this. And he basically put two holes in here and put some pegs in and put corresponding holes on the other side. Uh, but I'm running out of time today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tack weld this together and get this nice and level. And then I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna fillet weld it, um, uh, butt weld it all up together. And then I'm gonna grind the sides out flat but I'm gonna leave, well, just this back weld here I'm gonna leave. Um, but uh, yeah, it's looking okay. I think I probably need to put some bigger fillets in here. But um, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So um, I'll try that, and if it breaks off, it's no big drama, I'll just cut it free, um, put the pegs in, and then um, and then re-weld it back up. It's no, no big issue, it's just, uh, I think, um, spending more than three hours on this wasn't the plan, so. Um, what I've got here is, um, I've done a, a root weld, which is completely covered by these caps um, here. Um, and the only one that I won't be grinding, I don't think, is this one at the back here. I think I'm gonna leave that there, or if I do grind it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take it flush. But um, these are just capped in, these are, they're not, there's nothing. Uh, there's a whole world underneath there, holding it all together. Also, um, this was stinking hot before we even did any welding on it, so um, it's even hotter now, so it's all nicely in there. What I'm gonna do uh, is just give this a grind back, uh, get this nice and flush now, and nice and tidy. And then, um, and then we can get it back in the fire. We're going to take some of the stress out of the states of the world by getting it back up to that a nice warm temperature, and then let it let it normalise. I think we're going to leave it there for this video. Um, but I'm going to grind this back now, and we're going to do the normalising cycle and put a centre punch in. Uh, put my uh, maker's mark in there, and uh, yeah, leave it there for a minute. I put an initial polish grind on this uh, face and on this uh, little horn. Um, it's come out quite nice. Um, now I'm going to try an attempt to heat treat this. Um, there's going to be a couple of issues. Uh, there's a considerable amount of mass sticking out of the main body and um, also I've got two different types of metal here and a weld and 
there's a lot going on. So what I'm going to try and do is to get this piece across here, the width of the the width of the horn and this this heel. Uh, I'm going to try and get at least that section there up to a nice uh, a nice um, austenitic temperature, and then quench it in water, and then we'll see where we are after that. Uh, and then um, I'm going to place it back in the fire, and I'm going to let the uh, temper colours come through, hopefully. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. This turned out epic. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it. I really, really, really enjoyed making it. I think the world's gonna hold up. Uh, just a quick thing, I took this home, I chucked it in the oven, I tempered it, I brought it back and polished it. It's like three or four days after I made this now. Um, so the, the time is adding up. Um, we also made this little uh, butcher as well, which really, really helped out. There's a link to the video at the end of this video. Uh, why did we make this? Well, I made it because of this little anvil I've got here, this little steak anvil. It's got a very odd stake on the bottom, and I think this stake's supposed to be driven into a stump or a log or something like that, and it's a sort of like a mini portable tinker's anvil or sort of the sort of anvil that someone might use if they were trying to repair tooling whilst farming out and about. Um, I don't think this is supposed to go in a hardy hole, so uh, anyway, this flopped around all over the place, this would like do all sorts of things whilst you were using it. Um, we've replaced it, so it's looking really good. Uh, that's it, I believe, for this episode. Oh no, wait, I do have some news. We got t-shirts. We got t-shirts! So we've now got Trust Me I'm a Blacksmith polo shirts in the black, it's on the left breast, and then on the right shoulder we've got a little image of uh, Kitty there, and she's holding uh, in between her jaws there, in between her palate. She's got a TMIB piece of angle iron there. She's chewing away on that quite nicely. These are available in uh, small, medium, large. La X, extra large and double XL large and I think you can get them in triple XL large should you require. They're 25 pounds plus postage and packaging so if you want to get one of these there's a link in the description to my website and there's a contact box, fill that in, send me an email and uh, we can get one sorted out and sent over. Cool, they're done by a local company, I'm really keen to keep things local like the block brushes which we've got something coming up on those very soon. Um, I think that's everything, I think that's everything. I do think that's everything. It is everything, so thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, please make sure you ring that bell for notifications because it will tell you every time I make a video. I make videos about twice a week. Sometimes I make three times a week. Uh, occasionally I do a live. Hopefully I'm going to get to do a live this weekend. Uh, but it would just be a sit and chat. I've got lots of things to ask you guys and girls at home. Comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the steak anvil. Let me know what you thought this anvil was for as well. I think it's a tinker's anvil. Let me know in the comments. I think that's everything. So thank you for joining me. I will leave a link up here to the video of me making this butcher. I'll leave another link down here to me doing something else. This is my Patreon. That's a great way to support the channel. And this down here is the subscribe button. Thank you guys and girls. Bye bye.